What's up guys? AJ, Mon Valley Paranormal Society out here today. Um wanted to come back to this site and film a different video. Um so I was out here last week, I filmed a couple videos and I had to delete one of them. Um the reason being I came out here, I was walking down on the bike trail and I came across like a couple dogs and they ended up being someone's and then I was talking to the parents for a little bit and the kid the kids in the ghost hunting wanted to come check it out want to be a part of the video but unfortunately I didn't know the minor laws and the consent or anything like that so I was unable to post the video on YouTube I ended up having to delete it and decided I'd come out here reshoot it if I did run into them I was just gonna explain to them like look I'm sorry I don't have any consent forms on me you know I can't document it but before I get into that um, area of the video which is like an abandoned building couple abandoned buildings and some silos and stuff I wanted to come up and do a little quick shot of the dark mine entrances that are up here um, I'm on one now and there's one I shot the video the first up here this little indent here is the start of dark mine um, 1907 there was a huge explosion killed 239 people out here and this is this is pretty much as close as we can get to the actual mine. Um, it's the other entrance to it is right below me actually, and it is graded off, so you can't even get into it. It's like a, it's like a tunnel, like a, a big tunnel that would go into the mine. Um, I'm gonna walk up here to the top. My Arbulus Five is running. It said two things, but I haven't looked at it yet. Just to show you guys, like. You can actually look right down into the mine, where the mine would have been. 1907, 239 men and boys were killed when a gas lamp exploded in the mine, causing an explosion all the way out. This whole area was infected with the deaths of these men. Um, we will be taking a trip after this, after the abandoned buildings, to the cemetery where a lot of these men are buried. So, I think it's a big unmarked grave. But let's show you the other side of the mine um, entrance, and then we will go towards um, the abandoned buildings. And if I run into that family today, I'm just gonna explain to them, look, I can't include your son in the video, because I can't edit, I don't know how to edit my videos to blur out faces, but I'm gonna have to talk to one of my good friends. She's really good at editing. If you can check her out on Facebook, it's Nina Lim Libre Photography. Libre is spelled L-I-B-R-E. Nina Libre Photography. So that's her. And yeah, let me show you the actual like entrance to the mine now. Because it's, um, the actual mine entrance is right here. The old mine entrance. And it's all graded off. So you can't even go in there if you wanted to. But... <sighs> I'm not gonna lie guys, I really don't want to go in there. It looks kinda looks like that would suck if you ever got in there. It looks like that thing's actually bolted on there. Oh well. I'm gonna get the S bots going. I started using this I just got it in the mail a couple days ago, and I started using it um in the video that I couldn't post. I don't really know like how I like it. Essentially, it's a spirit box, but it's, I don't know, it's different. And it, it has more recording memory on it or something. All the ovulus said it was head and lead. So, maybe this is the head of the mine. And if I were to go in there, maybe I'd be leading someone. But, and I did tell the kid, like, I do like using the ovulus out here because, like, this is a lot of, um... Um, sorry guys, I'm catching my breath. There's a, uh, there's a lot of natural energy out here. So, this thing is picking up natural energy, that's cool. But, it's like, there's nothing really out here for it to pick up besides the natural energy. Um, so yeah, that's cool. We're gonna turn on the s bot see what the s bot will get. I'll throw the obulus in my pocket, and I just kind of want to walk down to the to the mine, kind of this other entrance down here, just to see if I can get, um, this is the S-Box, it is like a, 
I got mine on Ghost Stop. I'll put a link in the description of this video, just so you can go and find one of yours. Um, I spent like 85 bucks on this actually, and probably would have been like 30 more if I would have gotten a memory card with it. So I didn't get the memory card. I bought the memory card separately. I have 58 hours of recording on this memory card. This thing's gonna start up, and it's gonna be loud when I start it up, but that's fine. No worries. Danny, FM. There's a big bee flying around here. Is there anyone out here right now that wants to communicate with me? So you just see the S bot scanning right now. It's got 58 hours of recording on it. I'm trying to adjust how I would go about, I don't know how to go about changing the speed on this. There we go. You just change the speed on this, turn the volume up. Is there anyone out here that wants to communicate? So it's basically a spare box, but it's got the speaker, the speaker's built right into it, which is really nice. I like that a lot. I like not having to carry a speaker separate, that's definitely a perk of it, but it's pretty easy to get up here, it's just, um, and there's the entrance, there's the, there's the other part of it, pretty easy to get up here, just some jaggers to worry about, but, um, I did like hear some voices out here when I was down here in the building. I couldn't make them out there because they were just like real, real weird. And there were some definitely some dark voices that came out of there. So, um, so yeah, I mean, the Ovulus said a few things. It's probably still talking as I'm walking out, but this thing definitely has the capability on it to go pretty quickly, um, so yeah, I'm gonna get in my car and drive down to the, to the other side, but thanks for watching, I'll be sure to post this as soon as I get down there, or, well, maybe, depending on, actually, I'm just gonna leave my car where it's at, and I'm just gonna walk this whole way. So when I was by that family's house, they did say something like, you know, a lot of people died here. So if I just leave my car here, I don't see a reason why I can't. Um, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to walk with the S-Box and see if, see if anything wants to come up. So that's what we're going to end up doing anyways. So, um, there are like a lot of little markers around here that say, like, Dar mine, Dar mine. Like, you know, in memory of the dark mind. All sorts of that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know why I couldn't just leave my car there, so that's what I'm doing. And I just heard a voice out of the out of the S-Box. It was a guy. I don't know what he said, but and the nice thing about the S-Box is that it just actively records as, you, as you're filming, or as you're playing with it. It just actively, like, it just records, and that's pretty sick. I'm definitely a fan of that. Um, these guys must be hunting or something. But, I know that there's another little building around here somewhere, I just don't know where. Like this, right here. Um, the family that lives in this house down here, they were like, oh, come by like, right where this truck is. And there's all these weird, like, cement blocks. They said there was an entrance here, but the entrance further up. So I did, like, walk around there, and I didn't see anything. But I'm going to keep walking. 
Um, up here is where the family, where I met that really nice family, but couldn't post the video because the miners and that kind of stuff. But there's just a lot of remnants of things all throughout here. So yeah, just all sorts of remnants. Some old, some old brick. So again, this is the full spectrum camera. This is the Bell and Howe full spectrum camera. So. Yeah. And I'm hearing some voices off the Xbox, like when I stop talking I hear the voices, so maybe. Maybe something good, maybe something not, I don't you know. Who knows? I'm walking up right now to this family's house, but I really don't wanna I just don't wanna include them on my video today. No throw. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the video turn off for a second while I walk past this house because I don't want to be actually filming. But yeah. Go. So video two, don't mind. Um, the uh, Xbox just said little things in a woman's voice. It was really weird. Um, so I don't know what that was about, but definitely, definitely on the weird side. It was just like, I just walked through a bush and I just heard the woman say little things. And then that was that. But we're walking on the bike trail now, down to Dark Mine. Got the S-Box running. Got the Oculus 5 running in my pocket. Which I know that's kind of dumb because... You know, I would like to know what the words are saying, so this one's definitely loud enough for me to hear out and see Johnny. Morning explaining Johnny. So sample, judge, fair, energy, garden, leader. Castle thing. Just keep on talking. Like nothing's going on. Definitely with the move today was parking my car closer down here. Um, there was nothing I, that said I couldn't park where I parked, so it's really nice to just park there. And the best thing about Joe Sunny is I don't need a permit to do it. Um, I say that because, you know, hunting season is, what, like fishing season now in Pittsburgh? Hunting. Fishing season where we're at now, between Westmoreland and Washington counties. Um, so yeah. Fight with Mason. It just said fed cat, okay? Like, whoa. Whoa. Okay, I said it just said fed cat, and then I heard... The scared box just said three words in a woman's voice. Right here. Can, can you tell me that again, please? I swear I just heard a woman's voice. And it said like a straight sentence, guys. Uh, I can't even explain that right now. That was definitely like a full sentence out of a woman's voice. And I have no idea what that was. I can't wait to watch this video right before I post it. But that was a full sentence. Um, I'm really glad I didn't have to run into that family today and then be like, Oh, hey, by the way, I can't put your son in my videos. The obvious just said slain, cheat, and age, like murder. And it's not related that I'm hearing gunshots in the background, I don't think. So. This is kind of interesting, though. I'm not... I don't think this has to do with what I'm doing, but... This whole thing is like, this is asphalt. An asphalt path through the river. That's kind of cool. 
I didn't. I didn't notice like any bit, any um, any remains of anything that way, like any mine remains. Um, Kit did point out though, there's like a lot of foundations and stuff in the woods. So I was gonna keep an eye on those, but he had never really been up there to explore, it, so he had no idea what they were. Yeah, we're coming up on these silos that I was exploring the last time that I was here. And also, there was uh, an abandoned building. There were some guys in the building when we came up the last time. They were cool. They were cool guys. I think they were just exploring. You know, the, the bike trail out here is real nice because there's a ton of abandoned buildings um, on it. And potentially haunted places, so that's real cool. Um, but I am running the F-Box still. And that's what you're hearing in the background. Um, I really haven't had any luck, like, asking questions and then getting responsive. They've just been, like, really weird, like, responses. Just, I haven't been asking anything to get them. Like, they've just been out of nowhere. So, here we are. Here are the abandoned building. It's probably from the... I think they were the old bunning uh, coal processors, and then you got some nice silos up here too. So, um, the interesting thing on these buildings was that the kid who I brought out here with me, he said he had an experience in the buildings. That's really why I wanted to bring him down here and cut him out. Was um, and then we got some buildings up here in the woods across from it. So. The real reason I wanted to bring the kid out here is because of his experiences, and um, he said that he saw a light, but it wasn't like a flashlight or something like that. It was just, um, he said a real weird light. I think those kids might be back here again because I see bikes down here, but we'll see. I do have the S-Bot that's still running too, so. Is there anyone out here that wants to make a presence now? Often glass material. I mean, there's a bunch of bricks and stuff down here, so material done kind of sparky, you know. Um, the, the floor down here, guys, is like all muddy and everything. Really weird. Well, not weird, but it's just like real muddy. Definitely some tagging going on. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's the same guys from last week, but definitely some people down here exploring the place. No worries, I mean. Um, yeah, and like over here, when I had the Oculus 5 out originally, it was just catching some really weird, like some really mean, aggressive stuff over here. Down here in the little pit. So there's something aggressive down here. It's that scratch or something, so I was like, was like, okay, well, have a minor with me, so don't be scratching the kid, but come after me if you want to. I don't know, the S-Box, like, it was really weird the last time. I was, it was like, I wasn't really liking it too much, but honestly, it's probably because I wasn't getting anything out of it. So, we'll have to see if this is a different... But getting anything different out in the F-Box this time. Okay. What was that? That was a woman's voice again. It's like the same voice. So, that's cool. What's up, guys? Yeah, it's an F-Box. Um, it's like the new, it's like the brand new Spirit Box. Yeah, and then I got the Oculus 5 and 4 scratch and camera. Oh, shit. Yeah. I, what'd you get? Um, I got the Oculus 5 from Bill Chappell. He's the guy that makes all the stuff for Ghost Adventures. You can actually fucking buy shit from Bill Chappell. Yeah. <laughs> He's Joe's website. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Cool. And then I got this from uh, GhostStop.com. And then I got the camera from GhostStop.com. Oh, wow. too. And then I got a thermal camera in my backpack, and I got that from Flur. Um, F-L-I-R.com. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so. Cool. We're just starting out with this crazy thing, except we're planning on doing a mountain on something. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. No, I, I have mixed emotions about that place, honestly. You've it's, been there before? No, but from what I've researched, a lot of the stuff in Moundsville is not really... It can be easily explained. Uh, oh, like really? the big shadow in the door. I mean, you don't know if there's someone on the other side of that door yeah. making that, that is, shadow. That's true. Yeah, so...